Hells Angels and they have banditos. My hands, they're pretty fucked up. Being Jewish in, in the tattoo industry is nothing special. Yeah, gender doesn't matter now. I don't think that I'm different to other people anymore. place this here on the arm between this Native American guy and uh, the skull stuff down here. And he's very gentle with me and he always lets me decide what he gets, which is perfect for me. I actually don't know how to explain my style because I would say I'm pretty much an all-rounder because that's what you had to be like 15 years ago. Today you just do your style. It wasn't like this. I had to do everything. I started off with tribals and stupid Chinese symbols, but I also had to do like realistic dog portraits or stupid 90s magicians on, on the upper arm or whatever. This is the original sketch and the stencil we put down is really a really simple version of this. I'll do all the shading and everything as we go along. I don't like, I don't like pretty tattoos, I think. Because there's so much... Now this gives you the chance to really grow into having it. Look at anyone in the punk scene and they all have DIY tattoos. So I'm not a punk. Yes, you are. Most professional tattoo artists don't like stick and poke because they think real tattoos should be made with a machine and moreover with a coil machine. <laughs> I use hand poking, stick and poke, I use coil machines and I use rotaries. I can get along with all of them. I can take the machine apart and put it together again. So this is what I learned in the beginning, in the beginning too of tattooing. These are hand-poked fingers. The love letter is the one I made myself two years ago, but now it's getting better and better, and this is a service I offer too. I use this stick and poke now for five years. Back in the days, I was working a lot with the bands. Um, I was driving and tour managing and going with Smashing Pumpkins, Blink-182, Foo Fighters, and by the end, 2003, with the Rolling Stones, though. So this was a major experience for that time, yeah. Back in those days, I had two tattoos, and that was, uh, yeah, I felt like a, a young baby in between all those rock and rollers, always. Not many people used to have a lot of tattoos, but nothing compared, like, today. But I think it's a little bit desperate to get on that early with a lot of tattoos because you never know what work you're going to do. It's everybody's decision to do what he wants to, but I think that growing up with tattoos is a fine way because it, you don't come in that thing like it's not fashion. When I started tattooing, it was a time where I've been living in the countryside and nobody had tattoos back then. Yeah, we tried to be a big rock band and that's why we moved from the countryside to Berlin. In Berlin everybody was tattoo, so I wanted to be the same. I'm very happy with my tattoos and uh, the imagination of me being old and tattooed is wonderful. If I'm a grandmom, what I will definitely be, <laughs> I hope. Um, I think it will be funny for my kids to bring their children to me and uh, I can tell them about my tattoo stories. This is my skin and uh, I don't think that I'm different to other people anymore. Party 
got a written bed, I believe in. I had this idea like getting a new tattoo and with our name in it. Two of you, Aka Toy. These like a couple of tattoos I have. I have some more but always like small ones, not so big. That's why I wanted to have some of uh, Tutu's tattoo, uh, tattoos because she's doing really nice small things and fine lines and that's what I want to have. I don't want to have these big huge things on my body. piece of art is done. It's all blood, the red color. Look, and I'm proud of it. I started with heavy metal and hardcore punk rock and stuff like that. But over the years, when you do music and, and you work as a musician, you get more and more open to music because one day you find out that music is music. Not important which style, so good music is good music. Over the years, I came to that point that I really liked to have different pieces in different styles. As I started, it was like, yeah, find one style and do it proper and the whole arm in it and it's fluently in it. And, but now I like it more like a yeah, like a travel, travel case. So over the years, you have different faces and you like different stuff. up on the Gold Coast, you know, I was at the time working at two different studios and um, just because one would only give me two days a week and then I was picking up a few other days at this other place and after a few weeks one of them came up to me and he was just like, um, so you're working at this other studio and I'm like, yeah, and he's like, okay, you can't do that because, you know, we're Hells Angels and they're Bandidos and you know, kind of got to make a decision, but I mean, it didn't mean anything to me, you know, I'm a tattooist, I, I don't care for all of that, but yeah, it's a different side of it that I don't, I'm not interested in and I mean it happens, you get... It, yeah, I don't know, I'm here to tattoo. <laughs> I think being Jewish in, in the tattoo industry is nothing special. Having tattoos is frowned upon in almost every religion in the world, so... Sometimes I, I take the Jewish topic into my, my pictures. I, I draw like the menorah or the David star or something, just like a small element, just to remind the people where I come from. Actually, I have back problems from tattooing because I'm always sitting like this and it's really I, I got real back ouchies and my finger is deformed by, by, using, by using the coil machines because I push so hard. I just have to, to push them like this. When you work a, a long time for tattooing, you have to go to the massage. Now that I'm doing this for three years, like daily, it's kind of hard and I can feel it. It's, my hands, they're pretty fucked up. The machines are super heavy, the vibration. I'm working usually between six eight or nine hours a day, every day. It's quite intense. Sooner or later I gotta find something else. And fine arts might be something. Even if I don't consider myself as an artist, like artist, artist. I've been tattooed by a man and uh, after that it was only girls and I guess it was because they're nearer to myself and uh, every tattoo artist has his own stories they're all tough girls girls that have stories that do think a lot they're very sensible very sensitive and uh, I do like girls who can tattoo. The most of the stuff I've seen, they're like more sensitive and more filigrane and more detailed with all the with all the work. Mine all done from guys. I would have loved to have a girl in between just to look at when I'm screaming and yelling and just to look at the girl and see something nice in between. <laughs> I think you get taken seriously, it doesn't matter about your gender. 
I think um, male or female, you should um, you should be you know a good a good competent artist and um, have a good portfolio of of drawing. Um, yeah, gender doesn't matter now. <laughs>